All right, Macha Brew about nothing time. Playing some green white Amiria, mulliganing into oblivion in standard. <laughs> Modern, actually. We'll keep this. Ghost Quarter we will put to the bottom. I think we need action. So this hand is interesting. We get turn two Wall of Omens, turn three Rallier, get back Flooded Strand, most likely. There's a Nakatl for our opponent. Well, planes go. See what our opponent has. Sacred Foundry. So this looks to be some type of zoo deck. Another Nakatl. And a Swift Spear. Oh, good. That's a lot of damage coming across. Opponent gets in for a million. Actually, four. Down to 16. Well, let's Wall of Omens draw a card. This does give us a blocker, hopefully. It's a Temple Garden. So what we're hoping is... Our opponent doesn't have, like, a Targa's Command or something. Goblin Guide. Ugh. So much damages. Targa's Command. Mana up. This feels like a blowout. Top card is Flicker Wisp. Well, let's block. Do they have a Targa's Command? All right. No a Targa's Command. Ugh. Having to shock ourselves here is pretty bad. Flooded Strand. Crack Flooded Strand. Ugh. I wish this was... Our other fetch, a windswept teeth. I guess we can get Canopy Vista, actually, can't we? Get Canopy Vista. Uh, that's not as painful as I thought. Renegade Rallier. Get back Flooded Strand. And pass the turn. Maybe we're stabilizing? Maybe? Opponent. Goes on the big attack. What's on top of our deck? Sun Titan, we don't really want. So let's block and block. Actually, we can't block that way. Block and block. We don't want to be dead. Well. All right. Let's try it like that. Opponent's going to bolt our face. Okay. If they have a second bolt, we're dead. Skull crack to three. Crack a fetch. Path. We're dead. All right. Ooh, not fast enough. So, against this deck, Zoo... We can bring in a Wrath, maybe? I don't even know if that's right. Blessed Alliance gains us life, potentially, and kills something. Dramoka is huge and awesome if we live long enough. What do we just purely not want in this deck? Eternal Witness, Banishing Lights are just so slow. Maybe just this? I guess Dramoka's command is probably pretty good, too. Go down a Mortar Pod... And maybe Dramoka over the Selfless Spirit? Oh, we need... That's right. <laughs> Always forget we need 61 cards. Well, we're on the play. Well, this hand is pretty excellent. This is exactly what we want out of this deck. Canopy Vista Go. So we get... Yeah, this is actually pretty good. We got our Wrath. We got some Life Gain. We got Walls and Flicker Wisps. Wouldn't mind just drawing a land. That would be nice. Opponent shocks themselves down to 17. Plays a wild Nakatl. Only a 2-2 at the moment. Well, Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. Get a Plains. And since we drew a land, let's just Wall of Omens. Wall of Omens is nice because it's going to block this Nakatl. And if our opponent wants to use a removal spell on it, that's kind of okay. And then we have probably Tap Land... Lone Missionary or Elder next turn. It might just be Elder, since that has potential to get us to Gideon if we draw land. And that should be a big swing in our favor. Another Nakatl. And no land. Alright. Well, we're definitely blocking. If our opponent's going to, like, Mutagenic Growth, our Wall of Omens, that's fine. To kill our Wall of Omens, rather. Ooh, we draw an untapped land. Well, in that case, I think we just secure a Tribe Elder... Temple Garden tapped. And now we're pretty much guaranteed to be able to play Gideon next turn if we want to. Conversely, we can both Lone Missionary and Flicker Wisp. But just going Gideon plus Gideon, try to block, and then Wrath the following turn should lock up the game more or less. Goblin Guide for our opponent. Goes attacking. We get another land. Well, block and block. And then we'll sack Elder. Get another Plains. Bona passes. Oh, that's Dramoka. <laughs> well, maybe we don't even need Gideon yet. 
Um, let's just Lone Missionary, gain some life. Flicker Wisp. Flicker our Lone Missionary. So this puts us at 25. Gives us multiple blockers. And then next turn we just untap in Dramoka. And then we can Gideon after Dramoka. And I'm not sure how our opponent... I mean, they could have Path, but... Dramoka is super huge against what this deck is trying to do. And we will certainly just trade away creatures. Pony has a Swift Spear. Gonna keep attacking. We have a Path on top. Well, block, block, and block. Bunch of stuff dies. We drop to 24. And let's see if our opponent just scoops to Dragon Lord Dramoka. So big. Pass the turn. Well, our opponent basically needs Path or the game's just going to end. Next turn, we can Gideon plus Path. Yeah, our opponent scoops it up. Well, they were stuck on one land, but that was a pretty good draw for us anyway. Let's run it back. I think this setup is pretty reasonable. Uh, Wall of Omens like crazy. That's actually pretty good for us. That's a lot of defense and a lot of card drawing. Zombing rounds for our opponent, and there is the wildest of Nicodles. Now let's Amiria go. Things are shaping up. Goblin Guide. So we're taking a huge beating here, and a Nicodle. Opponent gets in. We get a land, which is reasonable. We'll play the Plains, play Wall of Omens, draw a card. And then I think we actually just want to discard a Wall of Omens. Because next turn, we can crack our Fetch, rally her back another Wall of Omens. And then we have a pretty good defense. We're going to be at 12 by the looks. Here's the big attack. Another Renegade rally her on top. Well, block a Wild Nicodle. Down to 12. What's our opponent got? Eidolon. All right. Eidolon's annoying. Well, Windswept Teeth, crack Windswept Teeth. This is going to put us to nine. I wish we had a way to gain life. Get a Forest, Renegade Rallier, down to nine. Get back a Wall of Omens, draw a card. Oh, yeah, the Eidolon's really punishing us. Pass the turn. Opponent. Going to leave back the Eidolon? This is fine. All right, tax with Eidolon. Goblin Guide gives us nothing. So, kill Eidolon, block, block. There's a Tarka's Command. So, we're down to three. Not good. Sakura Tribe Elder, also not good. Well, Wall of Omens, draw a card. Amiria, pass the turn. Ugh, we're dead to any burn spell here. We just didn't find any life gain. Bona cracks it. Gets a mountain. Swift Spear. Tax with everything. We get a planes. Block everything. Got it? They gotta have it. And there's a skull crack. Yup. Oh boy. This deck. Becoming more and more convinced this is just worse than blue white Amiria.